Hello, it's Miriam from Dantramar Terrascopes here at Blind Forest Books in Sacramento, Brunswick. And today I'm doing a video on the, the full moon in Virgo. Whoa, there's a full super moon in Virgo tomorrow, uh, March 9th. Uh, and it's exact at 2.48 in the afternoon here in uh, Sackville, New Brunswick in Canada. So that's Atlantic Standard Time. Um, I don't have a printer right now, so I, I drew out my little sort of rudimentary chart here <laughs> but it's so neat this is such a cool full moon that it's going to be um yeah filled with real opportunities to get that move on that we've been waiting for this is almost the breakthrough that um, we've been feeling underway uh this is going to be the sort of wind in our sails towards getting our lives uh reorganized because the full moon is in virgo that's the sign of order um, of organization um, of loving to sort of tidy things up uh, get things in an order that works um, Virgo is a very analytical sign it's ruled by Mercury so it's very intelligent uh, very cerebral but it's an earth sign so it's about thinking towards how to ground your life and um, yeah get it in an order that makes sense for you and that allows you to flow and feel effective mm -hmm. so Wow. <laughs> Let's see. There's a lot kind of going on with this full moon. Um, obviously, it's an opposition because a full moon is when the sun and the moon are exactly opposite each other. So where the moon is in Virgo, the sun is in Pisces. So that's got our intuitions at their height. Um, it's illuminating our creative gifts. So we're really ready to get creative and follow our intuitions towards what we know will bring order into our lives. Yes. Mm hmm. Because Pisces can be sort of a, a messier sign. It's very emotional. Uh, it tends to focus on like the big picture, oh, the world soul, rather than the sort of day to day that Virgo really likes to have on lock. Mm -hmm. So we're ready to sort of rein in those dreams a bit and give them grounding in actual physical reality so that we can, yeah, just be more effective and sort of start fresh in terms of bringing order to our creative projects so we can actually get them done. Yay! <laughs> it's interesting that this full moon is actually happening right after the time change that gives us extra daytime hours. So yeah, things really are changing. You can, you can probably feel the shift and it's a good one. Yay! So... Yeah, this full moon involves um, trines. Uh, a trine is an energy of ease and flow because usually the signs involved are in the same element. Although there is an exception here. It's an interesting one. But anyway, so the moon in Virgo uh, is training basically everything that's going on in Capricorn under this full moon. So we have four planets in Capricorn. Uh, we have Mars, which is the planet of drive on uh, energy. It can be about anger, but the kind of frustration that like motivates you to get things done. Uh, we have Jupiter in Capricorn, so that's the planet of expansion, um, of fortune, of everything good. It's known as the greater benefic. So it actually has a hard time in Capricorn because Capricorn is very reserved and practical. But when Jupiter is in Capricorn, it's an opportunity to really expand uh, your business practice, your work, uh, and your sense of perseverance. Mm -hmm. So we also have Pluto in Capricorn and Saturn in Capricorn, which are still... Um, pretty much conjunct and will be until uh, October this year. Um, but Pl Pluto is the planet of transformation, um, of passion, of destroying the past in favor of uh, rising anew like a phoenix. Wow. Uh, again, in Capricorn territory. So that's an energy of um, entrepreneurship, uh, work, business, the stuff that, that keeps the money flowing and the world turning, how about? <laughs> and then Saturn is the planet of challenge, um, of obstacles, but it's actually at home in Capricorn. That's its power placement. Saturn is the dad of the Zodiac. So he's like tough love, but he knows that you can do it. So that's why he pushes you so hard. Ah, <laughs> come on, Saturn. No. <laughs> but thanks for your lessons. <laughs> but the moon in Virgo is training all of this. So this creates an energy of ease where it comes to getting your work life in order. Uh, but also get, bringing order to your plan for making it up the proverbial mountain. Mm -hmm. So this moon is really going to help you find your flow uh, with your work and kind of get back at it in a really cool and important way. Yay. So 
Uh, the other trine is between Mercury retrograde uh, in the last degrees of Aquarius and the North Node in Cancer. So these are actually not in the same element, but uh, they are just loosely conjunct. But um, yeah, so your mind is ready to do some sort of last minute Mercury retrograde innovations uh, where it comes to bringing your life purpose forward uh, to loving on what you know uh, makes you feel at home in your life, makes you feel purposeful, makes you feel like you're aligned with your destiny because <laughs> you are. And this full moon is really going to help you step into that sense of purpose in a, in a bigger way than, than almost ever. <gasps> cool. <laughs> so... There is a square uh, with this full moon's energy. It's between uh, Venus conjunct Uranus in Taurus. So this energy is getting us to really jump out of our comfort zones so we can um, quite specifically attack our creative projects and make the changes that will help those, those efforts bring stability into our lives overall. So Venus conjunct Uranus is squaring uh, the Saturn-Pluto conjunction and also Jupiter in Capricorn. So yeah, you're being really challenged to get off your butt and get to work with this full moon. Totally. And that seems to be the, the general theme. <laughs> and then we have a few sextiles. So a sextile is an energy of opportunity. Uh, it's when two planets are 60 degrees apart. So they are in sort of their best friend sort of sign <laughs> yeah <laughs> but we have the sun in pisces conjunct neptune uh sextiling the saturn pluto conjunction so this is an e an energy of opportunity surrounding making the gigantic change that needs to happen again surrounding your creativity uh what speaks to your soul um this moon really wants you to help uh, wants to help you um get a move on with your goals and just really bring them forward to um, blast out uh, the ways that you've been hiding from your purpose, the ways that you've been clouding yourself. Um, and yeah, it's, it's calling you to, to wake up <laughs> and, and do it. <laughs> And so, uh, yeah, the other sextile happening is between the Venus-Uranus conjunction and the North Node in Cancer. So this moon wants you to feel at home in your life. It's extra emphasized. It wants you to feel comfortable. It wants you to feel good. It wants you to feel luxurious, abundant, um, filled, mm -hmm, fulfilled. <laughs> and so, yeah, this, this full moon's energy is just really going to help you um, push forward in a way that you feel good about. Yay. So uh, I'm going to do a three voices reading to find out what the main focus of this full moon is going to be. Uh, I'm using my main deck combo because I feel like this moon is really um, calling us to get back to basics, uh, return to center, uh, realign with what started it all. So actually, this is like my first real deck trio. I've got astrological oracle cards. It always feels so good to use these. These are the main decks I use for people when it's their first reading with me. Because I they're just the, like the best general reading decks ever. But yeah, beautiful astrological oracle cards. The Nature Speak Oracle by Ted Andrews. Love this one. I'm also choosing these decks because there's so much earth energy in this, this full moon. We've got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn fully activated. So this, this full moon is just really um, going to ground you so much. Yay. So our final deck is Tarot Musha, my favorite deck ever. Everyone should have this deck. If I had a bazillion dollars, I'd buy every person in the world this deck. But anyway, old faithful. <laughs> I love it. Yay. So let's see, what do the cards have to say about this full moon in Virgo that is calling you to get off your butt and get back at it? Yeah. <laughs> so the cut card is Aries. Yes, get off your butt, blaze your trail. It's time to get back into action. Yes, it's time to be a warrior for your cause. It's time to run with the wind and fight for what you know you need. Yeah. So give these decks a shuffle. Then we'll pull the cards. Mm -hmm. So, card from this one. So, shuffling the Nature Speak Oracle. That's our cut card here. Cedar protection. So yes, this moon is all about really learning that your efforts are protected. You are in the right place, and what you're trying to do um, really is is happening. 
So you have keep it simple, back to basics. Healing and balance is happening. Yay. Thank you to all that sun Neptune conjunction energy. Yeah. Yep. You're just gaining control. You've been still for long enough. It is time to get out of your comfort zone and make it happen. Winter is almost over and here comes the spring. Yes. So that's our card from the Nature Speak Oracle for this full moon in Virgo. Okay, so shuffling the tarot deck, I cut card from this one is judgment reversed. Yes, you've already heard the call. You already know what you're supposed to do, but you've just been kind of basking. You've been waiting for the inspiration you needed to kind of jump into action. And here it is. And you're ready to, to feel so happy with yourself for actually um, getting back at it. It's, it's felt like a lot of pressure, um, giving yourself the time and space you needed to rest and just recharge. But yeah, you did it. You're, you are fully recharged now <laughs> and you're ready to make it happen for yourself. Totally. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's just going to feel so good. To, to get this done. It's going to help you gain that sense of emotional fulfillment um, that has been kind of lacking because, you know, you've been just trying to do your best to, to keep the emotional cup full. But actually, this work now is going to be doing that filling for you. Yay. So, pulled the cards. <laughs> so let's look at the shadow cards first. Yes, so the shadow card from Astrological Oracle Cards is Libra. Uh, this is the card of balance, um, of finding a more judicious, uh, more fair way of doing things. So you've really been considering uh, what you need, but also what other people need, and you're ready to bring it together and um, approach this in a way that you know is balanced. Um, uh, it takes into a account uh, every area of your life and is going to just bring so much more harmony and flow as a result, especially in the department of relationships. Um, I think a big thing that we've all been learning is that actually we do have the support we need at this point, uh, even and especially from people who used to not really be on board with our plans, <laughs> but they, they have come full circle. And honestly, everybody is fully supporting you at this point and helping you um, keep your mind um, in the right place to, to get that prize. <laughs> so storm reversed, resolve conflicts reversed. So yeah, that's been, again, a huge part of what has kept you from being able to make progress was realizing that there were loose ends that hadn't been tied up. There were conflicts that you weren't sure if they were over or not yet. So it made it really hard to um, just push yourself. But there's been some important information coming through that's been showing you that that peace really has been found. And so, yeah, you're ready to work with that and make it happen for yourself. The Fool. Yay. The card associated with Uranus energy, which is very active with this full moon. But yeah, you are breaking free from the past. That old cycle is closed. It's done. You are in a totally new day. Um, you are becoming even more aware of your infinite potential. And again, it's I feel like I've said it a million times this reading so far, but you are ready to make this happen for yourself. You have scaled it back on what you thought you needed. Uh, you've lightened your load. And yeah, back to basics, ready to go. You are protected by the universe. You are ready to take a leap of faith on yourself in a bigger way than you ever have before. And it's going to find you feeling so happy, feeling like you really are um, part of the dance with life and you know the steps this time. <sighs> Yay. Right. Let's look at our main cards. Virgo! <laughs> the full moon in Virgo. We got the Virgo card for it. That always happens with this deck. Um, I'll either split it and the card cutting the deck will be the person's actual sun sign or the card that they pull tends to be. So it's pretty fascinating. But yeah, extra emphasis on the fact that this full moon is getting you organized. You are ready to get a beat on your life. You're ready to button it up for yourself. Um yeah, it's interesting how she's kind of naked. So it's like, yeah, you're ready to make yourself vulnerable. You're ready to put yourself out there um, with the work that you're ready to do. Um, you're ready to to help, to heal first yourself, but then almost others through the work that you're trying to do in some way. But anyway, one way or another, yeah, you're getting things organized. You know exactly what you need to do at this point. Your plan is ready to be put into action. Yes. So... 
yeah, blue moon reversed, rare opportunity reversed. So this isn't going to be just a temporary window of opportunity. This is going to be one that extends. Um, so if you don't get it all done tomorrow, <laughs> that's okay, because this energy is going to carry on. This is like sort of a contagious energy. You're being bit by the um, organization bug. And this is something that's going to stay in your system and keep you motivated uh, into the future. Yay. So our main card is the Six of Pentacles. Yes. So with this full moon, be open to receive. You're receiving the energy you need to get it all done. You're receiving the support you need from others. And there are just like numerous rewards to be had uh, with this full moon. So there's more than enough to go around. And you're about to receive your piece of the pie. Yay. Okay. So... What are our higher self cards? This is our message of hope moving forward. And there's the moon. <laughs> so yeah, this full moon is going to give you such good perspective on what needs to be done uh, and how you can do it specifically. So you've known that you've been needed needing to do something, but like the answers you needed hadn't quite arrived. But this full moon is going to involve tons of really important downloads that make you feel in control. Uh, like you're taking the actions that you need to take and yeah, like you really feel like you know what you're doing on a deep sort of spiritual level. <laughs> so pine, balance the emotions. Yes. Was I just talking about balance? <laughs> yeah, this full moon is all about finding balance, finding emotional fulfillment, being able to take a deep breath and actually feel refreshed in your life and what you're about to uh, make happen in it. Yay. And so, finally, the Queen of Wands. So this is the queen who um, gets her space in order, who makes sure that her home and her work are places that she feels recharged and motivated. Uh, this is the most creative queen. So the emphasis on uh, creative projects um, being about to get a huge push forward is uh, reiterated. But yeah, you are just poised to feel so much happier with yourself um, because you're about to actually tap into your sense of motivation. And yeah, you're ready to do it. Like whatever that means for you, you're, you are poised for a giant leap forward in terms of uh, personal progress. Beautiful. So, whoa, where's my camera going? <laughs> uh, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Happy full moon in Virgo. This is going to be amazing for all of us. Um, yeah, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to like the video uh, and share it if you think that it would benefit anyone that you know. Yay! <laughs> um, if you're interested in a private reading with me, you can check out my Etsy shop. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, yes, the default option on my Etsy is to receive a typed PDF of your reading with photos of your cards. But you can also request a video call. So we'd book an appointment and I'd give you a call and we'd pull your cards, have a conversation about what's going on with you. Uh, very nice and lovely. <laughs> or you can request a recorded video that would be almost exactly like this, but the cards would be pulled specifically for you. Um, yes, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Happy full moon in Virgo. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.